Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 2 of CHM 256 entitled Evaluation of Experimental Data. This chapter will be divided into four parts, so this is part A video. These are the outlines of the topic. In this topic, you're going to learn about the significance of figures, types of error, precision and accuracy, Q-test, and confidence limit. Let's start with the first subtopic, which is significant figures. It is important to indicate the margin of error of a measurement by clearly indicating the number of significant figures, which is the meaningful digit in a measured quantity. In general, it is fairly easy to determine how many significant figures a number has by the following rules. Rule number one, any digit that is not zero is significant. Thus, 1.234 kilogram has four significant figures, 12.3 milliliter has three significant figures. Rule number two, Zeros between non-zero digits are significant. Thus, 606 meter has three significant figures. 1.2034 mole has five significant figures. Rule number three. Zeros to the left of the first non-zero digit are not significant. For example, 0 0.08 liter has one significant figure and 0 0.0012 liter has two significant figures. Rule number four, if a number is greater than one, then all zeros written to the right of the decimal point and zero at the end and in the middle of the numbers are significant like the following examples and rule number five numbers that do not contain decimal points zero after the last non-zero digit may or may not be significant like the following example let's try the following examples how many significant figures are in each of the following measurements? Please have your time to answer all questions. Let's check the answer. The first question, 24 milliliter, has two significant figures. 3001 gram has four significant figures. 0 0.0320 meter cube has three significant figures. 6.4 times 10 to the power of 4 molecules has two significant figures and lastly 560 kilogram it can be two or three significant figures it's depend uh, either you want to consider zero at the back to be significant or not let's move to the second set of rules a second set of rules specifies how to handle significant figures in mathematical calculations. In addition and subtraction, the number of significant figures in the result is set by the original number that has the smallest number of decimal points. In this example of addition procedure, the result has to be rounded off to 90.4 since 1.1 has the smallest decimal point. In the next example of subtraction procedure, the result has to be rounded off to 0 0.79 since 3.70 has the smallest decimal point. So you have to consider the least decimal point in subtraction and addition procedure.
in multiplication and division, the number of significant figures in the result is set by the original number that has the smallest number of significant figures. For example, the result of 4.51 times 3.6666 has to be rounded off to 3 significant figures, which is 16.5. And the result of the following example also has to be rounded off to two significant figures, which is 0 0.061. So in conclusion, in multiplication and division, we have to follow the least significant figures. Carry out the following arithmetic operations to the correct number of significant figures. Please have your time to try out the questions. Let's check together. These are the answer for all the questions. Alright students, we will continue the other subtopics in the next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!